a lot of people actually ask about when do you give up on something? And it is such a fine line between being dumb, being arrogant, being those people that we laugh at on Shark Tank. That we're like, oh my god, that's a dumbass idea. Like, everyone's telling you that it's a dumbass idea, yet you still have the stubbornness and arrogance to say that it, I will prove you wrong, I'll prove all of you guys wrong in the next five years. I'm going to continue putting another $2 million in this project. That's not going to go anywhere. There's the difference between that and the people who actually believe in the product so much to, pres to, to commit and to, to see it through until it succeeds. Now the question is, how do you determine when is it a good time to admit that you are a hurricane or that you should continue to push through until you see success? That's the million dollar question. So Jason and I have been working on this video series and we've been working on this for the last two months, focusing on specifically food and beverage. It's funny that you know initially Jason was telling me about the fact that you know food and beverage as a space is no money in the food and beverage space. Low margins and there's not much of a demand looking for this product or looking for information online. So for me, I believe that I need to see things through. I need to be able to see all the signs to prove to me that I'm not giving up prior to seeing success. And that I need to be able to see further and to have a lot more views in order for me to be able to make the decision to give up on this specific angle to market for our video series. And all along, we've been doing surveys, we've been sur surveying different foodies, influencers, to get their take in terms of how much they're willing to spend on resources, and are they actually searching for this resource and this knowledge online? We interviewed dozens of food and beverage entrepreneurs at the same time as well to see how much they're willing to pay for services and resources to educate them on how to do dominant on the e-commerce sector and to get their products digitally online. We did this for two months and after one incident, I remember, it was a complete shift in my mentality that it was time to pivot. Not to give up, but to pivot. And that incident was when the foodie told us that she's only willing to pay $100 for a service that would guarantee them an $800 revenue. That completely gave me a switch that I am in the wrong sector, that we need to do. And that I'm not going to be that arrogant person. It is because of the fact that I didn't want to have confirmation bias to begin. What is confirmation bias? That is basically choosing to believe, picking up all the different cues in my surroundings that confirms my belief that this niche works, that there is the method. That's confirmation bias. And after getting more facts from the surroundings that tell me otherwise, and to prove to me that different angles are not possible, or not not possible, but it's gonna be a huge uphill battle, that's when I decided that, no, it was not worth it. That it is time to pivot. It is time to give up on this specific angle. Now, for a lot of entrepreneurs out there, we think that have landed on an amazing product idea that this product has never been out in the market and that the way that we're presenting this service or product is 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 going to be vulgar. It's going to be a unicorn. And the reason why we so truly believe in this is because we suffer from confirmation bias. That we only take in information that validates this belief of it's not something we do intentionally, but subconsciously. We pick 
pick up on those cues that confirm our bias. It's like whenever you're driving, let's say for example a Mercedes, you see that, wow, a lot of people are driving Mercedes. Or when you're driving a Toyota, wow, a lot of people are driving Toyotas. It's the same theory because now that we are exposed to this environment or this bias of ours, we find validation within us and in our environment to validate that this is the norm and that this is more to our surroundings. So as entrepreneurs, it is so, so critical for us to understand and have a support system around us that constantly tells you that your devil's advocate that tells you something otherwise. That brings you a different perspective so you're not blindsided by all this different confirmation bias around you that prevents you from making an objective decision to whether to proceed or to give up and not be that person that you have that change. There are more than 50 times that I've created projects that I've given up or that I've shifted focus or that I've pivoted. And it ranges from a couple weeks to over two years of running these projects until I realized that it was in the down, I was going down the wrong way. And it, it, all, it is all about being self-aware of the confirmation bias. So now my question for you is, when was the last time you realized that you were suffering from this confirmation bias? That you were suffering from this great idea and then now looking in to retrospective, and you're like, oh, this is actually a very dumb, stupid idea. Leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to see you.